Hi everybody and welcome to another YouTube video. So today we have been installing the Solar Edge three phase EV charger. So these aren't actually out yet at the point of us filming. Solar Edge have asked us to trial this, so we're uh, going through that installation. So as part of this video today, you'll see a bit of what we've had to do to install this charger and uh, obviously what the end result looks like. So on this install, we've also got a 10 kilowatt three phase Solar Edge inverter. We've got 23 kilowatt hours of three phase Solar Edge battery storage. We've got a three phase backup gateway as well so we've really got the full suite but this little video is going to be about the ev charger and there's another video on our channel or soon to be on our channel which will be about the full solar edge installation so yeah let's get into this video So let's head back to when we were installing this this morning and where we're in the cables, what other equipment we've got to put in and yeah, just a little bit more about the installation. Let's have a look inside. Okay, so I'm getting this 6mm 5-core NYYJ cable in. So anyone that's not seen this cable before, it's actually solid copper stranded. It's just a lot easier than using SWA and there's a couple of complications with using SWA on this install, which I'll go through in a little bit. But I've stripped this back. I'm going to get it through this gland here that I've just put into this trunk in. And then we've already got a B40 MCB here, which is going to be for our triple pull, which is going to be for our supply over to our Mati box, which I'll show you in a minute. This is basically going to power just the EV charger along with this cable. I'm going to be running a data cable as well, which will get the charger online. Because we've already got all this solar edge equipment, then we don't have to put any CT clamps in or anything like that because it will use the infrastructure that we've already got in place for the solar and battery system and get all of its uh, grid current readings and everything like that. Basically, this inverter is the brain of the system and will basically tell the, char the charger what's happening. The customer can set if to charge from solar and, and all this other good stuff. But we'll get uh, going to get this cable in for Dean because he's looking over your shoulder now at me saying get this cable in so yeah we'll get this pulled in place and connect it up okay so i am starting to clip this cable around now and one thing that your eyes are always drawn to is straight lines so you could quite easily just bash this up and put some cleats on it and kind of just eye it in but just spend that two minutes of just spacing out your clips so these clips can be 400 mil apart and get them all in line as soon as you walk in that garage whether or not you're in the trades or not your eyes just see straight lines so spending that two minutes can just be the difference between it looking good and it looking absolutely terrible to keep it PC so yeah those are in ready so I'll drill those now and then I can start clipping it around this garage okay so that's all in nice and straight so yeah it's all finished up there because it's nicely nicely all tucked in if you pan up there have a little look all nice and straight so come on come on one more to go in we'll get that up there and then i'm going to put a few cleats just on that little wall plate there as well to keep it all nice and straight but yeah the good thing about this nyy cable as well with it being uh with it being solid core it's it's quite rigid so as soon as you put a little kink in it you can you can really it's quite malleable uh, whereas some of the stranded stuff it can kind of spring back a little bit whereas when it's solid core it's really nice to kind of mold into place but um, as Dean's finding out as well, it's quite tricky to bend into place in a tight in a tight area because they are all solid conductors. But yeah, so we get that last one in, then start clipping along this timber and over to Dean. So I mentioned we're going to fit this matte box. So if you haven't seen these, these are basically to protect the charger from losing its neutral. And if we didn't have this, then if we lost the neutral in the property, then the earth could be used and then obviously deliver power out to the car car's metal work so it's quite important so what this does is this detects when that neutral is lost and it trips the supply to the charger now a lot of chargers have this all built in now but back in the day these were very popular it's only really in the uk that we have this rule so that's why some chargers like the Sorage one that is international don't, don't have this technology built in so it's a bit of a pain but i'm going to put this 
uh, mat e-box in place now, which I'll show you where it's going to go. So we're going to run our cable <clears throat> up and over the top of the garage. And then we're going to put, Dean's got some holes drilled through there for some internet and data. So we're going to put that possibly there or lower down there. We're not too sure as yet. Uh, probably up there somewhere like that. And then those cables will swoop in. Um, one will come in there and the other one will come from above and go into the top as the current plan stands. And then we've got an internet cable as well, which is going to go up and over the top of the garage over to the server rack to give us internet. And that'll be it. So we're going to crack on and get that cable pulled in, this mounted and the charger mounted as well. Okay, so we're going to open this up. I've not actually seen inside one of these three phase ones before. They've always been the single phase ones that we've used. So we're going to open this up now and then we'll have a little look what's inside. Trying to lose any of the screws. So I'll take this little plate off, I think. See, I've never actually looked inside one of these ones. There we go. So we've got a couple of things here then. So we've got a main switch to isolate the full unit. We've then got this, which I think is the automatic tripping brake. So it's got a, looks like some sort of switch there that is tripped by this open device. So this is the, this is the smart bit. This is the bit that detects when the neutral has been lost. That then trips, trips this and that feeds this C32 RCBO, three phase RCBO. So we're going to have our, the cable that I'm clipping now from the distribution board is going to come into this main switch and then the outgoing side that goes to the charger is going to come out of that RCBO just there. Okay, so we're going to get this matty box mounted now. So I'm just going to have a, I just had a little look and this one here, which is out to our charger, that was going to swoop into the bottom through a stuffing gland. And this one, which is from a supply, is going to come through the top into a stuffing gland. So into the main switch and then out through the RCBO. So I'm going to see if I can do this. No pressure with it being filmed as well as to uh, lifting this up and trying to get this in place. So I'm going to put these top two in first without washers. It's because it should allow me to hang it, I'm hoping. Done my measurements right. Moment of truth. Ah, I always knew, I always knew it'd fit. So I'm just gonna get this one screwed in now and then I can change those top two for some of my washers on. It's not very heavy this, but it's uh, nice to give it a really good fixing. Oh, it's even level, which is good. Change those top two now. One I prepared earlier. There we are. enough to close the door there we are so that's in now so i'm going to get hole drilled in top and bottom i just i didn't want to drill it first because i just want to see how that's going to come off best and i might drill it further this way so that i can get a nice swoop on the cables because with it being solid core as well it, it's it's a bit nice if you've got a bit of space to flow those cables in so we'll give that a go now got that stripped and connected then we're, uh, we're getting very close we'll turn it on 
So there we go, that's that Solar Edge EV charger installed. There's a, because this is a bit of a trial one, um, we'll show you the app and everything on a future video when we have another one of these installed because Solar Edge are actually playing around with some of the settings and functions on the 22 kilowatt three phase charger. So we can't show you that as yet, but we'll be definitely showing you that on the next job when we're hopefully fitting another 22 kilowatt charger. This video is really just about what has to be done to install one of these chargers. And I'm gonna just recap on that now. So we've got our main distribution board in the property. That's got a 40 amp MCB in it. We've then gone up there with a five core uh, six mil MYYJ cable, so you could use a different type of cable. One of the complications of using SWA is we don't want to bond the SWA to the case of the MATI unit, uh, which is that black box that has the open protection in for the loss of neutral, because that would then allow potentially an earth to go out to the charger that we couldn't isolate in the event of a, a lost neutral. So that's why we've used a non-SWA version of cable. That's gone up, round the garage, clipped all the way around over to the mat e-box, and then out of the mat e-box with all the protection in, there's a C32 RCBO in there, comes out the bottom of there and through the back into the charger. And then all, the only other thing we have to do really is get an internet cable to it. So at the minute we have to do that hardwired. We're hoping that'll be Wi-Fi over, over time. But uh, luckily we had a nice big rack in this uh, garage where we could get a local connection from. So that's quite easy. So we clipped that around the garage into the back of the unit and got it online from there. So now this charger, which is untethered, is able to charge the customer's Tesla and yeah, and use solar, battery, whatever kind of combinations of power that they want. So it'd be quite interesting to see how this customer gets on with this charger and we'll definitely be keeping track of how they get on and get any feedback as I'm sure SolarEdge will be. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please like, subscribe and all of that jazz and we'll catch you on the next one.